Ahoy! Let's think. Today we answer the question, why does wood float but rock sink? We've all probably seen an item floating in water before, whether it was an ice cube, a ship or even a leaf. We've also seen items sink in water as well. But why exactly does one item sink while another floats, even if they're the same size or weight? The most common items that we can think of on these two spectrums are a piece of wood and a rock. When looking at how an item floats, we don't look at its weight or size. To answer this, we must first look at its density. Density is the degree of compactness of a substance, and all items have a degree of density, even water. Water's density is 1 gram per cubic centimetre. For items to float on water, they need to have a lower density than water does, such as a piece of wood. On the opposite side, items with a higher density will therefore sink. But not all wood and rock are created equal. Most wood has a lower density than water, but there are a few exceptions. Ebony is one of the few densest woods at up to 1.3 grams per cubic centimetre. Since its density is higher than 1, if it was thrown in the water, it will most likely sink. Similar to wood, there are some rocks that can float, such as a pumice rock, which has a density of about 0.25 grams per cubic centimetre. The type of water can also change how easily an item will float. If you've ever been swimming in a lake or an ocean, you'll notice that it's probably easier to float in the ocean. This is due to the salt found in the water, which makes the water more dense. If you wanted to make a rock float, it will probably take a whole lot of salt for that to happen. So that's why wood floats, but rocks sink. That took some thinking.